Good morning. This is what the sunlight looks like. Just starting to come up here in Arizona. Beautiful morning. So I installed the cable actuator on the driver's side. I don't know, a week ago. And then Monday, took Lona to the airport and on the way there. We opened this side up and the cable broke on this side. So today we're gonna swap it out. Basically a cable assembly that fits inside this door panel back here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the glass out, take the door panel off and then replace it. So you can go on Amazon and buy the kit for about 80 bucks nowadays. Comes with the actual spool and then the cables and the runners and then you just reassemble everything. Should take, I don't know, an hour, hour or so. First things first. Maybe put this right here. Lean this like that. Two little tiny screws out. And then the door panel cover. Lock the door. Just comes off like that. push button and that comes off the, keep that handy because you're gonna need to roll the window down partially in a little bit I don't want that get buried so that's that as far as fasteners holding the door panel on there's really only one let's see if I can see that with the camera here let's see I don't know if you can even see it, but I'll try. Let's go like this. Around. There it is right there. Let's see if it will even show up in the camera. Camera, almost need light. There, you can kind of see it right there. It's that black screw, that little piece of plastic. That's a eight millimeter head. It's like a, I think it's a sheet metal screw. Okay. Really small sheet metal screw, but it takes an eight millimeter hex to pull that off. And then the whole door panel will unclip. So, 5 sixteenths, basically the same thing should work. It's just that little screw. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's the only one. The rest of these are clips that will just pop off. So get your spatula to do your frying with. When it's really cold like this, sometimes it's gonna break. But those are coming off okay.
All right, move the camera to the inside so we can kind of see where we're pulling and popping. Take this, plug it back in. Probably should have lowered it first, but whatever. It's all the way down. It's as far as it'll go. Um, we need to raise it back up, so we'll set that aside. I only started the car. I want to make sure the battery is charged. It's been sitting a little bit. So hopefully you got some kind of little pick or something because you're going to pull this. There's two pieces to this. There's the outer and then that's how you break it. Perfect. Bet you guys will like that watching me break stuff. Anyway, that comes out. And we'll be able to install that later on, but that comes out. Put that over with the rest of your goodies. And then this just... Again, kind of cold. Screwdriver time. Just prize up like that. There you go. Need to have that off. So now we should be able to get the rest of the. certain point that's what that's gonna look like just set that out of the way you won't need that until the job is done all right can we see everything yeah pretty much to get the window out there's a couple screws back here for the back stay where the channel slot is and then we need to pull this rubber out they say halfway but sometimes it's easier just to take the whole thing out so we're gonna go ahead and get the glass out so to do that there's two plugs there's one here you're going to want to do is get your, your screw gun or however it is that you're going to pull that piece out. Use a deep socket because that just happens to be about the right length to reach in there. But we have to align everything. So that's where the switch comes in handy again. Here guys, bear with me, sorry about the dinging. Okay. So I've aligned the one, obviously if the one's aligned, the other one will be aligned. Save the battery. Careful you won't drop those out, those are little tiny M6 by what? Wells, tens, something like that. Pretty small. So that comes out. Get those collected. All right, so that window's loose now. I still have to get the couple screws on the back side here out, and the only way to get them is from the outside. But hopefully, you guys have hit. I can 
show it to you. One's right here. Some people leave that in so it flops around. I just took it all the way out. It's easier on the other side. Other one's right here. Be loosey righty tidy. sometimes okay that comes off should probably talk about how we get that clip off right there A little tiny Phillips head right here got to take the outside door molding out too. <laughs> Sometimes this has a little bit of glue on the back side of this plastic where they've uh, caulked it into that so it kind of sticks. It should pop off pretty easy. Okay. And then gentle upward pressure once that glue breaks. like some butyl that they put in the bottom six inches or so. That, and then once that's good, good comes right off. See the butyl right here. So there's little clips that it latches into here and here. So gentle upward pressure once you get that screw loose. This screw will come out next. This whole assembly has to get pried loose. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but we'll get it. And yeah, that top screw does have to come out. So we'll get it out here in a minute. Because this whole assembly has to come out, so this one's gotta come through. So I guess that's one six millimeter nut, takes a 10 millimeter wrench, and then two six millimeter bolts. This off is just do it like this. Try not to damage your paint. It's better if you have a plastic one of these, but I don't. So, so all we're doing is we're uncrimping this. It's basically steel in there, and a little bit of butyl, and then you'll crimp it flat again so that it'll latch when you're done. And then there's a little plastic thing right in here that has to get depressed. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but it is in there. So hang on a second. Um, last time I just pushed down on it and then it popped out. So we'll give that a shot here. Hang on a second. All right, so that's out. This thing here fell on the ground last time, so we're just gonna take it out for now and just set it up here on the roof out of the way. 
Here's the cable that we're going to be taking out. We've got to open this window and then this little plastic assembly right here will pry out the rest of the way. And then there's a clip in there. You don't even have to unscrew it. So I actuated the rear vent. And this is that plastic cover I'm talking about. It just pops off like that. comes off pretty easy. And then there's the plastic clip right there. So that on the roof out of the way. Pretty simple, huh? And that's all that is. Not a support that broke. This is the guide that it runs in. Pretty easy. Okay, so now we're gonna take all this out. And this. And this. And once we get that out, then this window should lift right out. But this is the mitigating factor. I don't know, I didn't have to take it out of the rubber last time, I just pulled all of it loose. So, I wish I had someone to hold this for me. My wife is busy. Set it down. Try to set it out of a pathway and try not to mess stuff up. All right, there's a couple guides back here that we need to pull loose. Back up in here, these two screws right here, if I remember right. And that whole assembly can get fished out, but we'll have to disassemble the panels to get to the cable stays on the other side. But this is gonna come out here, and the whole assembly that's below um, is gonna come in from the other side, but the cables will drop down through here. All right, so might as well take these out while we're here. And then we'll go back inside for the next chunk. inside guys so pause this and switch all right here we go strap on this side I didn't have on the other one. So pay attention to that when you hook it back up if you have ground strap guys. A little sheet metal screw. This holds this bracket here. necessarily has to come off, but it just makes it easier for routing the cable back down when you go to reinstall the assembly. So, Phillips. I might use a Phillips screwdriver for this one. There's a couple little screws here that hold that cover on. I think there's three of them. There's one. I'm very careful, so
in a moment, y'all. That's one way to do it. The bottom one was long. The two side ones were really short. Um, the kit comes with new fasteners, by the way. Um, a little different head style. But I don't know if it comes with a little spacers, little standoffs, but whatever. be gluing on with some beetles. Take your pry or your screwdriver or something. Just try not to bend the plate. Hold it nicely. It's loose. That's one thing I probably should have told you guys is to remove the electronics to it. Oh well, I think we're okay for now. There we go. No more of that crap. assembly loose you have to get the cables out of here so there's a spool in there that you'll have to wrap back up Look, my little bearing fell out on that one too these clips just pull straight out a pair of pliers which is up in here, um, actually right here, goes to the back. So that's important to know. So these should just pull out. loose and I don't have wire cutters here so I'll just go grab a pair and see if I can break this in fact you know what the housing's not even bad I could just about reuse the stock one here hardware kit new spool Got new bearing. Yeah, we'll swap it. That's fine. All right. This thing's like a mile long. So why would that be so long? It doesn't need to be that long, but it is. Just remember where you got it. This whole assembly now basically going to be this piece. It's like 
this and it's sitting like that. So you gotta make sure you have all the screws out. Looks like we do the two here, the one there. And then that whole assembly should lift up now these cable loose. I don't remember them being in, in, encapsulated in any way. But we will show you one thing, because this is one thing that nobody else showed, but I want to show. Now you can't even see down in there. That's, that sucks. Um, not enough ambient light today yet. Oh, there, now you can see. So you can see how the cables are routed underneath, or actually to the inside of that, that cable bunch and that's important for when we go to put the window back in so we don't get any uh, rubbing okay good all right so this whole assembly now just comes out oh yeah I had to open the door a little bit oops scratch the mom's car that'd be bad no, I probably need to get this off too. You guys will notice how that is mounted. It's got a clip on either side. I think it's because the, the cable clips were designed so you could work them on either side. I just broke that one, but getting rid of it anyway. It comes out. That's got to be fished through. That's why I had to do that. So those cables feel like they are being... Oh, they are. They're clipped in right here. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a clip right there. Okay, pause you for a second while I pop that up. No, 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 one-handed, not so much fun. It's like rotates 45 degrees or so. You should just rotate. Yeah, not so much. Like that. Yeah, I got one more clip down there, don't I? No, just the rubber guides, see. Okay, we're halfway through. A little more action view than just a static view today. More garbage out of the way. All right. Now go the other way. So I'm gonna leave this plastic on so that I can route it where I need to. But this is gonna go in first. I'm gonna drop this down once we get the cables through. See if I can set you in here so you can see what's going on. Hope that's a decent view for you guys. Might not be. cable goes to the front, the black one goes to the back if you buy the same kind of kit. So once you get to here, take this and drop it down. Make sure you go underneath that wire loom. Oh, the other thing that I would advise you guys to do, pull these down early. Last time I couldn't get to them in these little rubber dust covers. When they're installed, you want them to mount towards the thing. Much easier to do it now before you try to stick them in. So, and then I gotta get past that cable anyway, so it's kind of a crap shoot, but we got it. So there's two little clips in there, not just the one. It's probably why a lot of guys pull this panel off, but I think I saved a step by not having to do that. The only nuisance is trying to get the cables to align. Now we're in here, now we can do the rotate part like I did earlier when we took it out. Those cables to fish so I don't turn them, they'll knot on you and then they're no good. Can't, can't damage the cable housing and you can't kink it. Okay. It's done. So now that extra long screw that was obnoxiously long, 
clip that in and it can hold stuff together. You want it right here. I can't hardly reach it. Let's see. Right, that's okay, I suppose. I'll grab it with my pliers. So. You guys aren't seeing what's going on behind the scenes here. My reacher. Pair of pliers. Okay. Not aligned. Ain't gonna go in if they ain't threading in, right? Kind of how that works. Don't cross thread your bolts. Get started. Oh, you give them two ugly duggets. Oh, that was four ugly duggets. Okay, you're good here. Now you want to spool these out and hook them up because you're going to pull them up and you got to get all the slack out. So, like I said, the one that points to the front, that's the front one. Kind of funny how that works. And the one that points to the back, well, that's the back one. I'm going to do the back one first because it's easier. Don't damage the cable. I like having big hands most of the time, but sometimes it's a drag. There's that one. There's the other one. It's up inside there. A little pain in the butt. All right, well, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that out. I guess grab it with a pair of pliers. What I'm trying to do is get a little bit of grab on the cables here there we go so I took up the slack on the black side and now I can take up most of the slack on the natural side and again this is just gonna go in here goes around this little thing here through that clip and then there's two sides to this but we want this inside that slot so use this downsized one here kind of like that I'm not even showing you guys. There we go. Sorry. Busy watching myself instead of watching the camera. Something like that. Slack up. I thought that clipped in, but oh, there it goes. You guys heard the happy, happy little clip there, right? That's all there is to it. All right. So I'll set you down here and I'll come back around and I'll show you how to spool everything up. see there's two sides I have to figure out which one goes where obviously the long one's gonna get the most spooling or maybe not obvious I don't know Hopefully that's a good enough angle for you guys to be able to be able to see you can close this door again and that's all good shouldn't have to go out there for a bit 
All right. Like I said, the but these aren't damaged so they just cam lock out and they're already greased so I'm just gonna use them because half the time these repo products don't fit right you gotta screw with them it just seems smarter just to run, run with what you run you know so this is the spool spline side goes to the front and it's obvious which way the cables go. We seeing that okay? Yeah. So the black one's gonna go there. We're gonna roll that up. And then the other thing we have to do is we have to estimate where this is gonna stop because we have to have these clips installed here. Um, but we can't do any of this until we put that into here. So we're gonna get the cables installed in the housing first, get this bolted back in place, and then we'll feed the cables through and get everything else aligned. You guys will see what I'm doing. But, might want to do the long one first, I guess. Makes sense. It should just give you a nice, satisfying click when it goes in. nice and tight so I just fish it back up in there and put the four screws in and then we can set the spool by the way there's these little pins they have little hooks in them it'll help you to align it and hang it there but that is not how it mounts you want to make sure it goes past the little hook all the way up inside like that it's kind of a big deal it will irritate you otherwise ones am I using? Those are the other. One, two, three. Wow, that one's different. Why is that one different? I only have three. My fourth one appears to be different and they should all look the same, so I don't know what the heck happened. Maybe it's in the box. Oh, no, that goes up above the two. And those are the window ones. Yeah, I guess these did come out of there. All right, well, this one goes up here. So, I don't have to fight the other ones. Thread these bottom ones, so I'm going to switch over to an extension as a handle so the drill motor doesn't get in the way. And this alignment there will be all right. Don't forget your ground strap on this bottom one. There's two ground straps. There's also one that went on the frame.
know what they say, you're always one bolt away from a 15 minute job being a five hour job, right? One broken bolt away. Well, let's not be one cross threaded bolt away from a, it turning into a five hour job. somewhere okay that's kind of funky look how that went off daddy want us there oh that's right um I pulled it all the way through the cam unlocked Guys, I screwed up. These are reversed. All right. I'm gonna have to switch them. Now I'm looking inside the door and they're reversed. Black's supposed to be in the back back here. Problem was, is this cable's black. And the back one's the one that broke. Oh no. I did not screw up. Okay, never mind. We're not switching stuff. Just looks cattywampus to me, that's all. All right, so. This one spools from this side, so the cable has to go in here. This is the one you gotta wrap first, guys. Get in there nice and tight. Just run it around like that. Showing up? Yeah, it's showing up. About like that. Take the new spool. Put this in here. And this is kind of pain to get that second one in. The first one's not too bad. Okay, I don't leave that in there though because I need to verify it didn't pop out as it did. Yeah, see? Um, and you need to tighten it more. So you can't do both. You can't do one side, put it in, do the other side. You got to get them both in there. So this one here has to get clipped in. So you know what length to make the cable. Side good. That black one has to come in from the other side. in and then you just loop it around like this and there's the two sides so as you guys can see I don't have enough cable so I've got too many loops on one of them probably the silver side which can mess things up because I'll get across like that One more time. We're having a good time now. 
the lint cake. We should say how many loops. It just doesn't. And they're partying in the same groove. So much easier on the other side. I don't know why I'm fighting this one. Because it wasn't on camera. There we go. Strap. I'm gonna put this big one in the bottom here. good. Probably should have pre-tested the wheel. anything.
All right. Power encouragement. So these have little standoffs, little metal standoffs, so you can tighten them pretty well without having to worry about distorting the plastic. There we go. All right. Put those on there. Since I decided to drop my my 10 millimeter socket down inside the door. I have to do these with a deep, which will be all right. Everything's tight. Okay. Got my socket back. Okay. Excellent. Blast back in. Purists will probably wash the window before you put it back in. Good for you. Yeah. Talking to you, Hubert. I know, you, Brandon, you would be washing the window right now. Be like, come on, Bob, get the beetle off there. Gotta be something for Lorna to do. screws in. Ones with the washers. Those bad boys are we're going next. And I don't want to drop them, so I'm going to go like this. That's fine. Okay. Uh oh. One job. Do not lose the rubber plugs. Scoot you guys back in a minute. Lose it. Sight. All right. Back on. Nope. This goes on afterwards. Ugh. 
this goes back on. Make sure it's locked. on now I can get to that plug comes together. All right, guys, we're almost out of toys. Let me stick this back in real quick. Windows down. I think I can put this on before I align all that. No, we'll wait. Here's how I do this. Seems kind of crazy, but in order to get the fit, it's got to be pinched down. So there's nothing in the manual on this. This is just something I figured out. I need this pinch to be uniform and fairly thin since it's just sheet metal it's grabbing. So that's why I use my size 12B there. <laughs> nice and uniform, should help. And then that clip I was telling you about is right there. It's going to clip in right there. Get it like that. Get it all aligned. Make sure you're at the right length on the front and back. It's kind of odd it sticks out past that. I don't remember doing that. It's perfect here though. Alright, I'm gonna set you down here so you can watch from below.
like that. side for the plastic. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to guess what I'm doing. So that's about the end of it. All I have left is these two little tiny screws going right here. Not much to them. Let's keep that door handle honest. So, there you have it for about an hour and four minutes you can do this job yourself and save yourself a little bit of money from taking it to the shop and uh, pretty satisfied have a good day